Hi guys, welcome back. I'm your friend Inside. So, uh, the good news that I am back. The bad news is that my computer just got hacked、uh, maybe two or three days ago. And you would ask me、uh, why I know that my computer, my Linux、uh, machine, got hacked. Well, it's simple. In that morning, when I opened up my charm,、um, it is, stays for let's say half a minute. Then it's、uh, then it will be shut down like this. Okay, everything just gone, and you know I clearly remember that I have opened th- this browser, this charm,、um, but after half minutes, it will be shut up. So it's a weird thing, and it's it's not not a. Uh, normal thing that should be happen. Then after that, uh, since the charm will automatically、uh, be closed, then I start up the Firefox, and the weird thing happen again.、Uh, at the first,、uh, you know, one or two hours, my Firefox works as expected. Then it start to crash down. Um, th- then I-, I want to know、um, where the problem comes from. So、uh, I did a test. You know, I start the Firefox from the terminal. Then I kill it by using the Firefox command. This error message is exactly what I have met when the Firefox auto shut down. So you know what that means. That means someone is doing. The PK Firefox command for me, so、uh, it's obvious that uh, someone uh, was successfully hacked into my Linux OS and、uh, sent a command like this to my machine. So that's why I know that my computer was being hacked.、Uh, so it's it's purely by experience. <laughs>、um, But I guess、uh, you guys should do better than me. You you guys could、uh, do a search. For example, you say、uh, how、uh, what to do after my Linux got hacked, and we can just go to the first link. And for the title of this link, it says how to detect if your Linux system has been hacked. The first way is to use the W. Let's use the W here. And from here, as you can see,、uh, we only got one user logged in, which is inside. So、um, it's exactly me. But if you say two of that uh, uh, stuff, that means you definitely been hacked. Someone, uh, some someone else is logging in your Linux machine right now. If you say two of them. Um, and okay, we we can also use a who command. Let's use a who command.、Um, for now, if if you use that command, you will say just one account. But if you say two,、uh, that probably means you've been hacked. And also, you could use a command called last.、Uh, the last command will print out all the history login information for you. So、uh, from this、uh, command, you could easily. Say when your computer got logged in. If at that time you didn't log into your computer, that must be someone else logged into the, your computer.、Uh, that 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 would indicate you one thing: that is your computer has been hacked. And also we can、uh, we can see more. For example, you can use、uh, let's say the history command.、Uh, this command will tell you. Uh, what kind of commands you have been executed in your machine,、um, and you could just look through those commands. If you found that、uh, some of the, those commands are、uh, not being seen or executed by you, that that definitely means that someone else, the hacker, it,、uh, did all those、uh, commands.、Uh, instead of,、uh, despite of.、Uh, Um, doing the check on the、uh, user system on the account system of Linux,、uh, we can also、um, do a check about the the internet or the network because the the hacker、um, how they reached your computer it's not by the air it's by the internet. So 
if you do a check about the internet, for example, something like this, uh, you would also say the history inf information about the network access of your computer. And also, some for some hackers, they uh, would like to um, start a you know start a port to let them easily connect it to your computer. You can also use a Uh, you can you also use a command like this net uh, static with the uh, arguments last all those ports that you opened and from here as you can see we got uh, 5000 and all those ports opened uh, then we can check about the process why um, the process matters? Because uh, sometimes the users, the, the hackers, would like to know um, or would like to get your files on your desk uh, because they, they want to get some information from your, uh, your local files, from your storage. And if they want to do that, they must start a program and to uh, transfer your local files to the hackers server some kind of stuff like that so if they want to do that they must start a program and that program is actually a process it takes the cpu it, it takes the com com computation uh, resources so it must have a very high cpu um, usage so if you use a command like the top here if you use the command top here you will say um, you would say a weird process with a weird LAN that takes a lot of CPU, even 100, 200, or maybe uh, 600. Everything is possible. So if you say such a thing, that means that your computer definitely has been hacked and uh, um, is, is in a process of transferring your files to the hacker's server. Uh, then here's a new command. I, I haven't used it before, but we can do a check about it. LSOF with the P. No process ID specified. So um, let's say if we give it a process ID, for example, the OBS, so let's take a PID of, of, of him and we put it here. We run it. Uh, then we would say all those informations that related to uh, this process, for example, um, the executable file of this process, and what kind of front type or uh, it uses, and what kind of field this process uses, we can see all those informations about it. So it's very helpful. If you got a spe specialist process, you think that it might be a hacker's process. Uh, you use this command to uh, get some details about that process. And a solution for you is to just delete those executable file. So the hackers um, won't be able to um, do their um, planned jobs anymore. Uh, here's another toast that I, I didn't know before. Um, but since it's a toast, let's just install it. I would like to try all those uh, security software to help me build a strong knowledge on the security field. Oh my god. So many uh, information that has been printed out. What is that? Possible misselling Linux XOR DDoS installed. What is that? Um, and here you go. You have one process hidden for uh, read DR command. Oh, this this tool is uh, it's quite interesting. So I may have to do some dis uh, deep research about it, especially for this. What is that? Um, anyway, so this is today's tutorial. It's about how to. Um, how to check if your Linux server got, ha got hacked or not. 
when you feel something was wrong about your latest computer. This is very important since uh, we are living in a modern life where anyone could be a hacker that tries to um, get information from you and maybe they even want to get money from you. If you refuse, they will threaten you by those informations. Okay, um, that's today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Bye.